à dose de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain. Allumage des EAP et décollage. DDO says everything is normal on board. Some fine shots. You saw Arian come roaring off the pad. A bolt of light still rising into the clouds. You can see the two boosters burning. And if we get a shot, you'll see the main engine burning in between those two. Always an impressive sight. She's beginning to roll over now to Les begin, begin the trajectory, which is pre-programmed into the onboard computer 780 that's 780 tons leaving the earth at liftoff at liftoff each booster burns 2.5 tons of fuel per second and the core stage burning 300 kilograms per second Guillaume has just come back well tell us all about it what did you see well it was amazing um, at, the, at the end of the countdown you see a, a, a beginning of uh, lightning and uh, then it's, uh, it's a whole sun that rises uh, from the launch pad to the sky. And we, we are very lucky because uh, uh, all, all, all day we had rainy weather here in uh, French Guyana. And uh, this is clear sky. We can, we can see the launcher uh, trajectory. And uh, it, it's, uh, it's, a great, uh, it's a great moment. What impressed you most? Um, the light. The light is uh, very impressive. Uh, it, uh, it lightens uh, the Guyanese landscape and all the faces of people on the terrace here, just like in, uh, in, in the day. Just like in the day. Well, folks, if that doesn't want to make you come down here and watch a launch, I don't know what will. We are going to probably see the booster burnout. I think that's... Those are the bo booster burnouts right there at about 2.20 seconds. The DDO has just confirmed it. We've had separation of the boosters. You'll get a shot coming up of what that's like. These are shots from uh, launch last October, not tonight, but yeah. the boosters are dropped away into the Atlantic. Yeah, that's a moment uh, that can be seen to the naked eyes and especially today. We are into the second of four flight phases. The first three of those phases are powered and the first one was with the boosters on the core stage. The boosters are burned out now. We're into the second flight phase, the single engine lower stage, also called the e a ECP, is, is burning now. Yes, and you have seen uh, Joshua, uh, the, the fairing, which is a, a, a long fairing on that flight, oh, 17 meters long. And uh, once in the space vacuum, uh, it's no longer needed. So uh, oh, we had the confirmation of uh, the fairing separation uh, right now. So it, it, it was designed to protect the payloads from the air friction. So uh, now the onboard computer commands uh, the fairing jettisons when the altitude is, uh, is up there. You just saw one half of the fairing. Actually, there are two fairings that are in a controlled explosion blown away. There are pyrotechnic cords. There's a horizontal one, and there's a vertical one. The DDO, meanwhile, continues to tell the story. Everything on board is normal. We've had uh, the boosters jettison and the fairing jettison. How about an explanation of the curve, uh, Guillaume, on the left-hand side of the screen? Yes, uh, the curve uh, represents the, pre uh, the targeted trajectory, and uh, you can see under that the main flight uh, parameters with uh, A, uh, which stands for altitude, and V for velocity. And they are both now increasing uh, rapidly, as you can see. And the speed we need to deliver a satellite at the end of the mission is? Well, at the end of the upper stage propulsion phase, the expected velocity is more than 9 kilometers per second. That's a record of uh, 20,000 miles per hour. At this speed, you, you would fly from Paris to New York in only 10 minutes.